I'm going to tell you this right now, man. I got to welcome a friend and family member of the yeah. show. That's right. The icon, the legend himself, That's JT right. Money, out in this thing. Yes, What's sir. good with it, boss? It's all good, man. Glad to be back here. Man, I appreciate Jack. you pulling up yes, on us, man. I mean, yeah, thank you, brothers, man. Maneuvering around in the city, uh, man. What all been going on? I seen you over there doing uh, the drink champs a second ago, too, yeah. raising cane on that thing, man. Yeah. I mean, talk to me about just the love that you've been getting out here in these streets, JT. And, and that, that's just what it is. It's, it's just like love. I, I, I might have planted a seed a long time ago, and it's probably yielding fruit. Today. That's right. That's right. And I said, that's all, you know, I receive it, I accept it, I appreciate it, and I'm going to rock in it. You know, I'm going to go get what's for me. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm going to claim mine. You know what I'm exactly. saying? But, yeah, I receive it, I love it. And, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do right by <laughs> 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 the time is now, baby. Exactly. Come on, son. You got it. Just get a bit raw. Yeah, but you know. I mean, JT, talk to me about just being an icon and a legend in the game, man. How do you feel all of this time uh, later still being in high demand out here, man? Well, I mean, that part right there is just a blessing. It's always good to um, do what I love to do and take care of my business, family and all, you know. But, um... But when you get to a point you feel like it's more you could be doing mm. or and or other people feel like, man, you should have been, you should but everybody got their own feelings and but it's really his time man. and I think he said the time is now, so let's get him challenged. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta feel me. Let those with ears here, you know what I'm saying, Rod, right, this is G shit gang the shit though. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the energy is just still here, man, and that's yeah. what I'm loving. Yeah. I mean, it transferred from the music all the way up to this yeah. day, man. I mean, can you break down your style, yeah. though, JT? What was it that you brought to the game that came to the point to where every time you went in the booth, you were creating yeah. the anthems and classics that yeah. crunk stadiums up? It, it, it was raw back then, you know? It was just uh, artists. When, when a nigga that knew when he first come in the game, he that shit raw. And then he get all these opinions and point of views and feelings. Then he try to think, overthink. Yeah. And then that's when the shit go to the clown. When a nigga just, and I just think that's what a nigga supposed to do. Like, yeah, just being, back then, I called myself representing for us. Because yeah. we wasn't being represented. Like, I mean, we still had artists, but them, them streets, that G shit, you know, we was listening to them niggas over there. We listened to them niggas out there, but we needed ours. You know, and then, shit, I was forced to do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? I what think, was it that made you say, hit him high, man? Oh, yeah, Tricky Beat, though. Talk to Tricky, me. Tricky Stewart, man. He made that same dude there, who that. Yeah. And, and that beat was just. But no, but actually, one of my young soldiers was with me. Yeah. Man, nigga out of, um, I want to say, nigga from Gainesville. Gainesville, Georgia, right yeah. down the street. Okay, then. Used to ride with me. He was like, Oh, that thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. He came with the hit him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hit him high. And I'm like, yeah, nigga, come on, let's go, let's go, let's do it. And then next thing you know, as we move, nigga starts like country music, man. Hit him. Because you think about it, nigga say that ain't never been. I said, nigga, that's like a country song, nigga, almost. It's a country song. Because think about it, the nigga riding up. Hit him. <laughs> I was just saying, I bet nobody thought of that shit. Hell no. They're like, damn, nigga, I'm look at that song differently now. Like, this nigga, he'll trip it. Hey, man, music, man. Feel good. Put the feel good, man. I mean, when you see your songs rocking stadiums and soundtracks at the same time, though, man, because, I mean, football games is playing that song. You see what I'm saying? Movies is playing that song. What was that like when you realized you had another one in here, though? <sighs> Man, I be trying to do good stuff, man, and you know, I, it's a feeling. I think, like you say, the energy transfer to that, the transfer to that, and them people probably that's where they at. They yeah, on yeah. that in that moment. Them niggas like, yeah, cause you know, next tomorrow we might be like this, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, nigga, I, I don't feel like all that right now. Yeah, you know, you know but then when I step out of, yeah. I, I guess, you know, like, it's good to have a thing, so I got stuff for everybody. You got a whole problem? Nigga, listen to the whole problem. You want, you want to learn some game? Listen to Run the Yard. Listen, bitch, I can funny play. I right, hear Go back to Poison Clan. Listen, you want to shake your ass? Shake what your mama gave you, baby. What you want to do? I got something for you. Just come on in my store. <laughs> come get the, Excuse me, brother. No, take your time. Excuse me, brother. Take your time. I ain't, 
ain't trying to say you know. I'm just letting you know it's available, baby. I'm going to put you up on game. I'm going to put you up on game, baby. You hear me? I toasted that, but exactly. excuse me, brother. Now, take your My time. My missus wanted to come up here and have some fun. Oh, that's what we have. I wanted to have some fun with you. Okay. I, uh, I want to ask you a question. Um, you know, I'm on the, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the personal uh, side. There's a lot of people want to know, you know, you know, you know, who is JT Money? How did you get started? Yeah. You know, um, you know, what age were you? And when did you decide that you know what? I want to rap. You know, what age was that? And, and where you come from, JT? All uh, right. Hi, my name is JT Money. I'm from, <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Miami, Florida. Yeah, well, you know, again, Miami, Florida. Um, when I when I first decided I wanted to rap, uh, man, I was listening to shit like uh, the first two live funk box party. I was listening to all that, the old school New York shit. Yeah. I was just saying other niggas' rhymes. And, um... I, I started hearing like that first gangster gangster, you know what I'm saying? That you know, cause I was already watching the videos, the rap. Mm-hmm. And I was seeing them there, and and I always felt like, yeah, that should be good. And then it it just fall off like, nah, I ain't on that right there. Right. Like that's what made me want to rap. It's like niggas always was right there. They ain't bring it home. Right. How niggas I be around, how I see it, how we would have did it. Right. You know. Right. So that's what kind of made me want to rhyme. But I think as a shorty, just seeing other niggas' rhymes that I like, I think I, I caught lyrics early. You know, like, oh, that nigga said something, man. That was just that rap shit. Right. It, it's a different, you know, the party rhyme. And then a nigga who, like, the message versus some right. other song. Right. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all, did, were, when, you, when y'all finally, you know, broke through and y'all got with Luke, were you yeah. already... You know, did y'all already, were y'all already kind of hot in the streets already? Uh, you I, just, uh, it's just like yeah. one of those things like, you know, like a crisscross deal where you see Jermaine right. in the mall. No, nah, could, could have been, but I didn't understand the game by then. We was ripping Big Daddy's 8600 every week. That was down to our money. Me and Dale, we were still in school, but we in the club on college night. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were getting the contest. We either won first place or second place, you know what I'm saying? We got the 500 or we got the 300. Right. But, you know, two niggas in 10th grade, 11th grade, <laughs> we get that every week, you know what I'm saying? It was a little 250 allowance every week besides what I, you know. Yeah, yeah. But we was doing that shit. And then one day, Mr. Mix was in there. Okay. The DJ producer, everything on Luke Records back then, he heard us. And um, the man just walked up and said, man, y'all want to make a record? And that Dale ain't know who he was. You know, Dale was a New York nigga. I'm right. from Miami. I, Anyway, I'm like, hell yeah, look. They changed numbers, da da da. Forty days later we had two little like mothers done. Wow. Like from start to finish, you know, that man just locked us in there and uh shit, we went to work. They're like, nigga, I gotta go up. So really it took about two weeks, three weeks, because the nigga had to go out of town. They was on tour. Mm-hmm. So we he left us some beats and we uh left us twelve beats and eleven of them made the album. And one song ain't making cause Luke ain't like it. What 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 what's your relationship? Because you know I talked to uh, Marquise yesterday, and right. you know he's he said you know I do know he respects you, right, one hundred percent. But what like, was your relationship with you know with Luke? You know what I'm saying besides what? Yeah, well, my I love Luke. I'm thankful for Luke. You know what I'm saying? And um, our relationship has always been professional and business, and you know what I'm saying. And then over time. You know, it's just my guy, all right. And you know, like everybody can be it's easy to be mad at Luke back then, right? Right. But I look at his situation as picture jewels being handed to an innocent child. Like when he was getting all that money back in eighty something, this nigga was twenty something years old, twenty six years old. Right. He didn't know what he had. He didn't know it'd been easier if shit, nigga. Break all them niggas, like, all that money, and you don't understand, right. no, nigga, that money ain't yours. Right. Like, all them, <laughs> you right. understand? I, I understand it, but, you know, the rest after that is business, because you think of two low life mothers. We knew we was getting the short end of the stick, and that's why me and Dale split. But when Dale went to go do whatever, I did pour in the mentality, and I made sure the game knew my name. Right. And listen to that album, I made sure a nigga know JT, JT Money. I was 
shit, marketing and promoting then and didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. You know, just my mother my mother is from Port St. Lucie, from Fort Pierce, Florida, Fort D, Pierce, D yeah. Avenue. Yeah, and, D Yeah, and yeah. um my, my granddaddy had a uh, shop on D, uh, uh, a tire shop. And my mother was the first person that told me about you back in the day. Your mom. My mother. Shit. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, um, my dad. It's, it's, it's this guy coming. It's, well, it's this group coming out. And I used to go down there during the summer, and they used to be playing the Throw That D, the, the, you know what I'm saying? Right. All, that, all the first album. Right. And, um, and she was she was a huge fan of y'all, and I had to bring it up because she told I told her you was coming today. Uh, but I do want to ask you another question about what made you after you did all the stuff with Two Lock because he gonna ask you you know about all that stuff back in the day you and Luke and all that. What made you come up here and deal with Jermaine Dupree? How did that all take place? Well, Jermaine was me and Jermaine on it. You, you know they they booked me for a feature before. You know what I'm saying? You know. He and them back in the day, had a situation with Jermaine and them, and, you know, we did the feature. But one day, you know, I used to always, like, Atlanta was always the spot to start to, like, if I'm, we, we driving too now, and 10, 12 niggas in the van, we riding up to North Carolina, Charlotte, so we always come to the A on the way home. You know, we brought every Saturday or Sunday in the A, and we hung out and then went back home Monday, because we was out there, we on the road. Right. One day I went to the 559 and I seen uh, Tony Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tony Mercedes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was like, yeah, man, let me uh, put a record out on you, man. Uh, I said, man, I want to follow you on the rap shit, nigga. nigga. <laughs> yeah, no, Jay, nigga, 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 nigga. Some real money with a real... I'm like, all right, well, let's do it. So really it was Tony Mercedes. And then we had a situation. I was still living in Miami, but once Dallas and Capitol Records got involved, I was like, let me move to the A and get close to the money, you know? Had you already had that record done, or you, or y'all, oh, they one? just, or they just when they saw you at the five five nine, no, and then, then y'all came over. Tony Mercedes created. Tony Mercedes introduced me to Tricky and Shakespeare. Gotcha. And all them niggas. Tone was the nigga taking me around, and meet producers and shit. You know, right? Yeah, right. I was just showing up as Jay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Be how you uh, get in here because I got about two. I'll be able to go to the interview. Man. <laughs> well, nah, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. He's going to get it out of me. He's going to get it out of me. Exactly. I mean, JT, when you think about that bass music sound, yeah. though, man, coming out of Miami and stuff like that, what was that whole movement like and in being involved in that before uh -huh. hip hop started to turn into all this other stuff we right. see now? Uh, it was ours. Yeah, cause they had their thing, they had their thing, and we and we lit the clubs up. We're the reason clubs jump again, parties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying this is just some southern shit now. It ain't just Miami, cause Atlanta had the bass music. Miami, you know, it's all it's more club. It was all club oriented. Yeah, we just like that bass. That bass hit hit them ladies somewhere, <laughs> make, make them gyrate a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But the tempo, like I, I look at that too. Back to the energy. Uh -huh. and, I, and I told some niggas this one time, I say, yeah, like when they used to be like, all oh, them niggas down there, they can't ride down and say, hey, you know, before me, they probably couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, but then I came. That's right. <laughs> anyway, but and um, it up. I said, right. yeah, listen to the beats. I say, play the instrumental. I bet your favorite rapper couldn't rap off that. Right. Because they flow was. Right. Nigga, now you gotta ride. You gotta come in that motherfucker go get that. <laughs> you gotta get on that bitch and mean it. Right. Come on. Be sitting up. <laughs> not on that. Not on that beat. That's how he rap. So oh, please. Hey man. <laughs> no, I'm with you, JT. Yeah, but that that was my understanding of it, like man, like because I remember we used to play songs and, and you know they had single instrumental. We used to play niggas instrumentals, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what that nigga talking about. <laughs> that motherfucker be hard as a motherfucker. They be four minutes to I didn't know I could get on the bitch and rhyme. I ain't thought I could put my verse on it. I'd have been there that shit. <laughs> a, long, a long time ago. Nigga, I like this beat, nigga. Put it, Come on. Put it out there. I mean, taking it worldwide, though, at the same time, though, JT. Because, I mean, the bottom line is y'all had y'all own distinctive style. How are y'all being treated? It in those other regions when y'all touched down with that music. Yeah, right? wherever we went, they was we see well, two live crew. Yeah, cause see they had done did they they thing. Yeah, so we 
them niggas behind them. So we, you know, we got the little brother love, homie. Huh? We still had to prove ourselves, like, and, and separate what we was doing from them. Cause yeah, if they calling us baby two loud crew, we on the two of them. They thinking we doing the same thing they doing. Yeah, we weren't doing. No, wasn't. We were too low, like motherfuckers. And we was too, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So the niggas who be like this, we had to go make them like this. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And, and that was our job, you know what I'm saying? So with the worldwide, I I think it happened for a reason. Uh, another seed in the pot or something. Hope we yield some fruit tomorrow too. Okay. Come on now. But you know what I'm saying? The process, you know what I'm saying? Like what I think about, I think I was thankful to even be a part of it. Like I wasn't the driving force. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was just there. I witnessed, you know what I'm saying? Poof, we had cell phones in there now. Yeah. <laughs> we I fucked up today. Right. We nah. had some real footage then, boy. Come on right now. Then. I know, because you don't been through something. Right. It was raw then. Right. Yeah. I mean, folks like Tupac back in them days, man. Mm -hmm. Coming across him and rocking out with right. that guy. What was that like seeing a young Pac? And then, you know, the actual man versus the legend right, right. now, man. I mean, how do you compare the two? What, Pac? Yeah. His the man versus his legend, um, I could see him. You know what I'm saying? I could be player in the cool, yeah. and then I could turn the motherfucker upside down. So <laughs> that's how I seen his energy. Like yeah. whenever I was riding there, we would talk like we talking now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Niggas say something, okay, yeah, check. That's the only reason I said what I said. Uh, I was gonna say, what well, nigga, how you gonna have these niggas? Rick? Like, Cause we doing this shit here like new. Yeah. We that. <laughs> and we, you know, multiple places, you know. But, nah, what else? So the man versus the legend, you know. We keep the legend alive, long live, brother. Um, yeah. Man, love. My bottom line is love. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. Yeah. I, I have no, I got nothing, yeah, in opposition to what it is. I feel that. Yeah, I mean, young respect. Trick Daddies and young Rick Rosses, yeah. man, handed the baton off to those guys coming up out the yard. Plies, you see what I'm saying? How yeah. do you feel like that was for y'all just to pass the baton to them? Nah, but, all right, today I'm proud. Yeah. But when you was a proud right now, you want to hold on because you're tired. <laughs> you know, the game, yeah. like you knew this from the beginning. No, 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 you it, did it, it, You know, niggas just had to stay in the fire business, stay yeah. around. You know, but still support, you know what I'm saying? And and, and I'm proud of these niggas. Like, these niggas inspire and motivate me to keep going. That's why I'm going to go get my, you know what I'm saying? Double got me on the tour. I told Double, nigga, what you did for me was to say, come on, Jay, let's go. Do they give you the love, JT, that, 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 that you deserve? You know, I feel like, you know, not, me and you go not, back not just, and, you know, I, I tell how this all the time. The, all these niggas out here rapping in Atlanta, these, yeah. you know, I ain't gonna call their names. And you talking about they started trap music and all this shit when I know I'm more the motherfucker that said it first. No, you know what I'm saying? Say I that. feel, I, no, 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 let me tell you. Oh, okay. I be feeling like that the city kind of turned their back on the nigga, the rappers itself, mm -hmm. on the legends. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know a lot of rappers yeah, in our right. position don't want to say it because we want to be politically right. correct. Right. I just kind of want to, you know, do you really feel like that? Do you feel like this, the the rappers that came after you in Miami show you the proper respect? In Miami, they do. But here's the game. What niggas do when they in front of you, they go, yeah, boy, yeah, 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 boy. And then as soon as you, you dip out, it's like, what are they? I'm over here. They, right. They're not doing nothing pro or for or with. Right. But today, they all giving it to me. You know what I'm saying? Even I got... Song with players from the A, you know, and we mm -hmm. just did it on because of us, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm putting the band together one more time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it was. Look, but I'm saying, like, the love, and then, okay, back on that, do I feel like I'm getting the love? I, the love I, I'm getting, I'm just receiving it. It is what it is. Like, what I think ain't got nothing to do with you. Like, I, I feel like you, I, I want some more. You might feel like it's fair. If it ain't nothing for me to bother you about, I got to stay over here and just feel how I feel. Right. Stewing my shit. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Just respect of the game or the code or what have you. You know what I'm saying? Right. But today I feel like, uh, all right, I felt like they should have been doing this. Uh, How about that? Yeah. yeah. Like, what, I had to survive an error or something? Right, 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 right. Is this a test? Right, right, right. I'm trying to be motivated. In 30 or something years, you can be over here. Right, right. All you got to do is stick to the script, do the business, you know, take care of yourself. Right. You know? Right. I'm trying to move that nigga. Oh, yeah, back to that one. I think them people, when they start coming in trying to bob the game, they'll tell our little brothers, Man, for the niggas ain't hot no more. That. Right. So then they'll keep uh, them away from you. So, because mm. the fans don't know, yeah, they don't really care. They just want what they want. Right. Exactly. I don't mean to diss y'all fans, but fans no. don't give a fuck. No, they don't give a damn. Right. right. Yeah. And, yeah, so, if you know, how divided won't stand, so they separate us, and and then, then it's like, oh, them old niggas hating me. And y'all niggas like, man, right. them old niggas ain't no. Then it's like, old niggas like, we don't like that shit, y'all. But <laughs> it ain't none of that. The game evolves too. Remember, it was a sound before I sound. Absolutely. Then, then another sound came. Then the, the game gonna evolve. Nigga, just, as an artist, a nigga got to try to get with it or respect it or check it. You know what I'm saying? They got to get down or make make the next wave. Right. Like, man, I, I, don't, I ain't giving no, none of them motherfuckers that kind of power over me. Damn right. Like, I'm sitting around thinking about... Uh, Something is another nigga fault in my life. Well, you know what I what, just, well, I, I said it, like and I hear what you're saying, but no. my thing is when when you have an industry mm-hmm. that has that's ushered in a new sound and these new artists, right? Yeah. And it's about money to me. It this is. is what this is about money. So I tell a nigga this here: these new rappers that come out here in Atlanta. I don't need you to give me. I don't want you to think I'm asking a nigga to give me shit. shit right. What I want you to give me is to respect that you fucking owe me, so I can go out and make my own fucking money. Right. So when you own these, when don't you own these, when you own these podcasts, yeah, right. and and Shout and yeah, and you Let these niggas that, that sounding just like JT, and you these niggas that sounding just like Ghetto yeah. Mafia, yeah. and then a beehive asks you, well, who did you come mm-hmm. up? And who did you yeah. come up listening to? And you say Run DMC, nigga, oh, I, and you I, sound I, just I, like yeah. motherfucking me. You understand? <laughs> That's what I'm saying? But then, okay, they go to fans Come again. On. The fans will be like, nah, nigga, you know, because they'll tell them, nah, nigga, you sound like. Uh, <laughs> right, right. right. Since we on that, I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> no, but, no, but it's, we it's, here. it's totally off, though. But since you brought that up, listen, nigga. I've been telling them, y'all got to find me a beat so I could do me a record like y'all. Uh, I want to do the. Uh, 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 uh. And them niggas gonna be like, damn, where well, I heard that shit? But they ain't gonna know. But right. since I'm here with this, right. just in case you hear one day, nigga, I did Michael Jackson the other day. You might be like, man, that nigga Jay. But that beat gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta feel Go just on. like that. It can't be, yeah. And then, but those who know, they're gonna be like, who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it to you first, baby. You drop your verse. Now, I got a good question over that. The whole players are supposed to get together, though. That's probably why we're here. Come on right. now. Right. I mean, that's if you still fucking with your little brother now. Nah, right. But see, now, now hold on now. I got to give Wick hell again because, see, you know, Wick say he don't do that style no more, JT. I didn't he, say that. He, he I didn't to, say wait, that. Wait, wait, what I, is say, it? I said that, that, I, mean, I told that's you. That's just open the door. I just no, remind no, it, Right, you. because because most of the albums uh, that we did back in the day, that type of flow was only on one or two singles. Songs, right. There was so much that. more. All my other shit was right. different. That's why right. That's why when, when Dirty Boy said, well, I'm going to send you that particular album, I said, I'm not doing that album, my nigga. Get, give me something that's a, you know, that's a little bit. I want right. to go wanna, outside the box. Right. I want to do some, I want to do a record. That 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 right. you with JT yeah, right. something that he could take me to a whole nother Nothing, fan base. Yeah. I want to do a record with a nigga that I've been doing the same shit for thirty years. There and you go. Look, and them niggas will say, "Now nah, you got to stick with one word like this." I'm an artist. I create. Right. I create. You can't. Right. You can't put this in a box. Yeah, right. And that's it, what it does. is boxes then, you in. They go to fans too, man. I, listen, I get this. Man, we like that old J. We want that old J. Them niggas still want me to say. I ain't ho ho like me. Right. Like, but I'm sitting up here saying, all right, I'm like, Jay, baby, come here, girl, let me show you something. Right. I'm like, nah, man, we want to, we want to just say, put your ass on, punk business. Fuck. 
Nigga, if, you like, want, if, you want, want. if you want, if you want, if you want JT from the early nineties, then go buy, buy the goddamn yeah, go buy old record. It's still available, <laughs> nigga. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, hold on. Let's see. Well, now this is my question, then JT. That rhyme scheme and that flow that you just hit me Ooh. with, with that ghetto mafia flow, that yeah. JT flow. Those are iconic flows. Yeah, right. But you, are, I'm a fan. If I want the goddamn shit that's right. iconic, don't get mad at me when you try to come with this new but crazy But the man shit. don't, be how the man don't grow on this nigga's a legend. His music has to age with him. Okay, you so, you, what I'm saying? so okay, would you tell Michael Jackson to stop doing the moonwalk? I ain't no, I was only see you trying to do the It's the same thing. thing. No, it ain't the same oh, goddamn no, I'm thing. I'm too old to do the moonwalk. Michael walk. Jackson. I the moonwalk yeah, in the all right, look, you're a steakhouse, right? Right. But your cousin make a mean salmon. <laughs> All right. Love salmon. <laughs> your cousin is you. You understand? <laughs> but you known for your steak. Yeah. Right. You can't stop selling steak. <laughs> you salmon good. Check. Facts. <laughs> you you got me. They want it. You got me. Right. Now, All right. Look, I come to your house for weed. Right. All you got is parsley. <laughs> I don't want that shit. Give me the motherfucking weed. You know what I'm saying? I'm mean, oh, no. trying to keep it cool I'm as possible. I'm going to shut no, up. You right. You right. Yeah. You should have told that nigga. But I like, like chocolate. I don't like, you know what I mean? I'm with you. Yeah, that's all. But JT, what do you think it is that causes y'all particular sounds to become iconic and be able to transcend time? Because everybody don't have flows and styles that folks are hungry for 20 years later, 30 years later. Well, the, the game was young. Everybody was being creative and different. Uh, we wasn't trying to sound like what's hot on the radio. We mm. wasn't trying to copy. I don't know who, who still today sometimes. I just have to meet Cat. And be like, that's how the song was. Oh, that, oh, that nigga made that record. Right. You know, I, I like that song. I'm gonna be like, oh, boy, nigga, what's the that song? Another, another rap, nigga. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's what that is. Yeah. That's but, nigga. Nigga got a song I like, nigga. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna give, give him what's for him, nigga. I like that shit, boy. You see it, nigga, boy. <laughs> Quit it without being offensive or Like, nigga, I love that shit, nigga. Take Come this on. love and go. I mean, <laughs> nigga. Surviving oh, them errors, though, yeah. JT. I mean, my thing is... Yeah, we had to go to some real dark places. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> exactly, exactly, I, play. exactly. I, I was getting on the couch. I was sitting on the couch still. <laughs> <laughs> How are you able to survive them eras versus now where folks ain't even surviving their own era? What was y'all era like that allowed y'all to be able to live? Oh, the rugged man, Robin said, though, man, let me stop playing. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but you know, I was always doing shows. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's all a blessing. Like, nothing else even makes sense for me. Yeah. I don't even know why, you know, but he said, and I'm, you know, I'm doing my part. Look, because. You know, I was fucked up as a shorty coming up, but everybody said we did what we had to do. But when I think about some shit I survived and got away with, it was like, you ain't shit. Anyway, <laughs> so now, if you believe in the karma of the game, I, it's like, I, that's why niggas feel like, well, you should have been, we could have been. But he probably was like, nah, I ain't going to give you all that right now. Yeah. You, gonna, you know, I, this is me. I'm, we all right here with me. What we was talking about though before I went to all that. Surviving the game. Surviving. Okay, boom. <laughs> shows. It's definitely shows. Shows and features. Them niggas want some shows. I don't care where they are. They want them, they want them shows. And somebody rapping want them features, man. Okay, so then also I got to ask you this. Would you be in the lyricist? The sun, though. <laughs> be in the lyricist in the middle of bass music, man. I mean, being mm -hmm. able to stand out and do your own thing and yeah. face the criticism and go against the grain. Yeah. What was it in you that made you say, you know what, I see what y'all doing, but I'm about to bring this to the game and y'all just gonna have to rock with this because this is what we about to take this thing. Yeah, but that's what it was. I felt like we wasn't being represented. The type of niggas I saw or was round, the niggas we looked up to in the hood, they just didn't seem like that what I was seeing on record. Yeah. When I start making certain record, these old players coming to me now, boy, that's a bad gym. I hear y'all there. These the old niggas, the big niggas, and yeah, boy, who represent? Boy, you represent us, boy. I got this. Anytime you need it, doing that, open up. I didn't know these niggas. I just saw them. Yeah. Big, you know what I'm saying? But they would come to me. Nah, you know, yeah, boy, uh, nah, nigga, tell you that we gonna get you, you know. I'm like, wow, this shit crazy. That's a whole nother story. I'm talking about, I used to go to certain places, and I swear it was, it was a nigga, but it's back then. Yeah. You know. Whatever was good in the hood with Luke and the niggas in the street and this young nigga from 
Yeah, yeah see, like, I, 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 and I tell any man of a nigga this, like, yes, yeah, tricking them or whoever. Poison Clan music brought the streets together, brought the city together. Like, these niggas ain't fuck with them niggas, we ain't fuck with these niggas, we ain't fuck with them Chicos, but they all had one accord. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shake with your mama gay. Yeah. I hate hoes. I want action. Dance on them. them niggas was, mm-hmm. they was all in that music. So now we all mingling and then, you know, I'm in every hood. So pull up on me, pull up on me. And yeah, you meeting these players I got over here. I'm saying, like real shit, dog. Now. A nigga had to beat out of know this. <laughs> but, you know, and then throughout the culture, mm-hmm. you know, we just had to fight vibes. You know, that's why. I, I love to see a player like this. I be telling, like, George and he's like, no, like, nah, man, but it was different when Hard Boy was out, nigga. Like, I'm talking about, y'all picture Raheem and Kizzy and all these niggas, A-Town players. And, yeah. You know, I, yeah. I was there. We was all doing shows and events, you know, like, I was at XS, I was at Sam Showcase, I was at, you know, yeah, I was yeah. at 112. I was, you know, like, I, a nigga can't even tell me I'm not part of his culture. I'm like, bitch, I'm your brother, I'm your cousin, I'm somebody. Damn right. <laughs> nigga, oh, nigga, I'm, fuck is we talking about, little nigga? That. I'm like, who, <laughs> who your people is? Because they can't tell you about the uncle right here. Come on. You know, man. Right. Yo, 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 big dog's supposed to know. Unless they're a hater. <laughs> Unless they one of them niggas who's saying stay away from that. Yeah. I was in, I was, man, I was in like, you know, like maybe like the eighth grade and, you know, I was at like a little talent show and then Dance All Night came on and there was this nigga named B-High. He came out tap oh, dancing. Oh, nigga, please. Oh, dance what's up? Dance. No, what's up? But nobody. I think that, I think the A just started Dance All Night. I think the A. <laughs> <laughs> niggas was yeeting and all that. Oh, yeah, we, we, we were yeeting too. But I'm going to tell you man. something to tell some serious note. Mm-hmm. Y'all's music. Like, like when I would listen to Two Live Crew, it was more of a booty shake. Booty shake uh, right. But Charles was more yeah. like a gangster street, that's what exactly. street yeah. club type thing. It wasn't right. the same. It was it was Gang it was street. Club, but it's still club, All but street niggas. Yeah. It, it, it was it was street. You know, so it was a it was a different sound than Two Live Crew. Now I yeah. know you kinda young, right. but I grew up on this man, so but I don't see, like we st- and nine niggas in the club singing lyrics now because they bobbing like this. You know what I'm saying? They not they not like this. <laughs> Them niggas like this now. If if you really think about it, Beehive, you know, because I know you younger than me, because mm-hmm. I had they see the and, and you know I you know one thing about me, I don't be bullshitting. Uh you can go check my Instagram. I posted y'all. I post all the legends. That's right. I post the MC8. Thank you, bro. I yeah. post the goddamn the Mac Dre's. That's right. Motherfucker, I paint the Mac Malls. You understand what I'm saying? Oh. I, I post motherfuckers that people at the DOC. Yeah. You understand? The people that, that they don't, don't forget about. Right. So I posted y'all not too long ago. But if you really think about it, and I'm going to say this in the camera right here, they might have been really the first street niggas out of uh, Florida and Georgia with street, street rap. Because y'all came out before us. So I I grew up on y'all. I I, I didn't have an album out. And a lot of the game that us, the hard boys and all us got, we got it from them. See, you know, people always, like I said, people always want to say shit that's, Popular. Oh man, I was listening to goddamn so and so. I was. I said, "Well, nigga, you sound like JT Money." What the fuck is you talking about? That's, That's a cool thing. How the hell, it, it, right? Uh, How the hell you gonna say I three thousand nigga in your rap like JT <laughs> Money? Come on. You know, but I just want to give you flowers on that man because uh-huh. I definitely, you know, I definitely, I'm not one of these lady fake ass niggas that be just, you know, I was raised off you. You're a motherfucking lady. Your voice is fucking golden. It should be in, the, in a museum somewhere, my nigga. Hey, man, I'm trying to give me a cartoon character. Or and you should. That's all right. And you should. That's yeah. all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you should. Let me get back in here then. All right, check. Bringing the party to music, though. What do you think happened to the party in hip hop? Because if you notice, man. who's making the party music right now? It ain't even no party music. Man. We ain't got nothing to party to no more. What do you think happened to the party, JT? Yeah, well, the, the, the people, everybody wanted to be gangster, but 
They don't know gangsters went to the club and pull holes too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we yeah. risk our freedom and our life all Come night on. not to go enjoy ourselves, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga, we taking these chances. We gonna have motherfucking fun, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna be in the club looking at them other niggas. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Well, nigga, we got bitches, we got money, we got trade, bitch. Well, <laughs> get like me, bitch. <laughs> no, let me stop. But no, they gotta have some fun, nigga. I, I, nigga. Having fun ain't cool. All right, nigga, see me right now, right? Nigga probably say, uh, that nigga, uh, happy again or whatever. But then, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm sharing, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I turned it off and all that light switches. <laughs> so, you heard him, he said that shit in the something. Come on. Yeah, but anyway, though, uh, well, that's why we here today, baby. We gonna bring the fun back. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep it gangster. Gonna... Listen, man, I had this record called Pimpin' Gangster Party. Come on. And I was talking about the crackers, they don't know what to do with a the nigga. They're like, is this nigga a pimp? Is this nigga a gangster? Do you any party music? And I'm like, bitch, all that. You know what I'm saying? They're 360, 360, 365. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Bars. No, this is, <laughs> nigga, I'm going to be high, dude. Right <laughs> Fuck you, nigga, stay in the cell. Come on, now. <laughs> JT, maneuvering in the industry, though, man, and learning the business along the way, man. I mean, how were you able to learn that business? Hard hit. And I still don't really know it. Yeah. I was just built to survive. Uh-huh. I was built to take some hits or, or withstand some fires. You understand? Because ain't nobody taught me shit. I bumped my head for 30 years. I'm still, listen, and I'm still moving on instinct, and, and I trust me. Yeah. I, 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 I don't even want to put myself in a position to blame a nigga. You know, um, yeah, we're going to square up day one, dollar one. We're going to, you understand? Know like, you never heard nobody that suing me. Yeah. And I done been in most of a different deal. Everybody owed me probably. <laughs> But you know, come clean up when I make this new money. Come <laughs> on, now. <laughs> come on. Nah, then I gotta to ask this. Now. now, I'm with you, though. When you look at <laughs> hip-hop now and you see the reverence that we have in five OGs, too, because I would say up until, like, about the last five years, mm. it seemed like the game kind of switched and turned around now to where folks have reverence for their OGs in the game, and they showing the love. You see in the shows, you see in the tours, you see in the concerts and stuff like that. Yeah. Do y'all feel like that's enough, or do you feel like it no, still ain't? I, it, it's not necessarily enough. It still isn't, but it, it, it's time, and it makes sense to them. Because, see, like, when, when certain shit stick, right? Mm-hmm. All right, when the smoke clear, the truth going to still be here. Yeah. So when all the... Flash it down when the smoke clear, the microphone gonna still be right here. Yeah. You know, we're gonna bump into it. Or a landmark in the game to get this far, you gotta come past here. Some shit like that. Listen, I'll be trying to go there. Mm-hmm. But it makes sense for them. Like, now, it probably make more sense if they would cut a nigga mm-hmm. in on that. Now, you do the commercial for that. Yeah. Right. You're a sponsor for that. You know, that's what it is. We gotta sign me or not. Everybody want to be the man to the cracks give our time. Crack give our time, they singing and playing. You know what, I, Behan, I think that the reason why, you know, um, that it has come back around full circle, the OGs doing a lot of tours and shit, is because all the young niggas dead. I know, they're killing themselves. They're killing themselves. They, they killing I themselves. told them that. I you, said, y'all ain't going to have nobody tell you. We got to tell y'all story. Correct. Yeah. Correct. What, what's going to, who, yeah, who's going to, in 20 years now, who, who's going to be JT Money? Yeah. You know who going who's going to be good at mom? Uh, yeah. Well, who we going to book 20 years from now that can to pack out, you know, uh a uh, State Farm Arena. They got they had to come back to us because what I told you was this here. Even though we were about the streets, we still had a common love and real niggas are the ones that had the bag. Right. Fuck niggas got the bag now. Right. True story. True story. Yeah. You know, it, nigga, when you came out of that sugar coating. No, when you when you when you when you, when you, when you came when you in 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 the eighties and the nineties, when a nigga had that that work or something. He was respect. You'd be like, damn, that's big boy from goddamn over here. That's big. That's so and so little mm-hmm. black from over here. It wasn't that he just had the bag. It was just he was a real oh, man, nigga in the community. In the street, loved in the community, right? The, these he motherfuckers now, nigga, 
Yeah. They don't have no rules. They don't have no morals. They don't have that. So they want to shoot a nigga they strength, because they suckers. They strength is the uh, rich man strong suit is as well. You know what I'm saying? Scripture again. Like you take the money from a nigga, he ain't nothing. But that same nigga you talking about and get it, lose it, get it back. Because mm-hmm. he was that. In the mm-hmm. hood, so mm-hmm. we we don't we uh, we don't mind helping get behind his shit because he do good. You understand? The, right. But well, the, the barbecues, the, the wanna, cookouts the, back in yeah, the hood. Other niggas want to cuff it. Right. Yeah. And, right. Uh, right. And, and then be and and feel the claim they better than like oh man news ain't good right man. right. And, and I, I try to tell them it make more sense to help the next nigga. All right. Do what I tell my team. Like, nigga, I be like, it's me today, it can be you tomorrow. I say, guess what I'm gonna be? I'm gonna be the security, I'm gonna be counting the money, I'm right. be hype man, I'm be the DJ, but I'm gonna still be there. Like, you in front now. I'm not gonna get in your way because the, the game, man, is all right. That chocolate was hitting last month, but it's summertime. They want strawberry, they want banana, they want butter pecan. You know what I'm saying? We open, Bill. We slanging that shit. That's right. That's right. I'm sorry, I ain't trying to say. You know, I'm just letting you know it's available, baby. There's that wide open dark guard. This question is to both of y'all. Then, are we gonna get another fifty years of hip hop? Is it going to last JT, 50 I'm gonna years, man? I'm going to let JT answer that. We will, but I don't know what it's going to sound like in 50 years. Because I think the hip-hop is that street culture. Yeah. Now, if they make our shit, we're going to cut it out pink, then it's going to be that. I don't think it is, JT, and I'm going to tell you why. You don't because, think it's going to last? No, you know why? Because every single well, genre, every genre, every genre of music has been taken from us. Right. We created rock and roll. Right. You created blues. Right. You created jazz. Right. You created every music. Anything that has to do with talent. Nigga, yeah, eating chicken and dancing survival, for the kings and queens was what black folks did. Check. We're, we're entertainers. We're right. ball players. We're athletes. Right. We entertain the masses. Well, we and it always has been taken. Uh, well, all the, I'm telling <laughs> you, right, I listen to this stuff. Right. I'm listening right now that they have a gangster rap Country genre now. What these these yeah, yeah, are doing one. country I music? Know what? Have I seen you? Have I did Listen. I send you that stuff? And yeah. it's a growing and thing, bro. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they they you look look at look at BET Awards. Look at look at uh, MTV Awards. You what do you see? What do you see out there? You see, man, you see Chinese folks rapping. Yeah. You see white boys coming out. Yeah. The um, what's your boy? He um. Damn it! it might not, might, but before right, the NBA right. thing, what well, my my point is, my point I'm making is, we have lost every genre of music. So what makes you think that we're gonna hold on to rap when you looking at it right now has been taken from us? Right. Ain't no JT no, Money's on no BET no, no more. Holding on, uh, it's like will, will hip hop still get enough? Now whatever it becomes in 50 years, but it's still gonna be all right. Pitch it in and took all of, but. You, you don't, you don't, the last big jazz nigga you heard probably Al Jarreau, nigga. Kenny G or somebody. On the, right. So, so the music ain't as popular because they not putting it in front of the masses. Like anytime a nigga gets smart, right, they uh pull back on you. And then they wait on the new shit to get a, the new nigga the money so they can keep him away from you again. Y'all right. didn't get too smart. Right. Like we can't give a nigga like you. This standard kind of, right. just standard, just sign it. You nigga like he gonna read it and like, man, what the fuck is that? No, I ain't say you, you, you your problem. You, know, you either go along to get along, nigga, or you be out here in the streets with me, nigga. Let's get it, <laughs> nigga. We in the motherfucking street, bitch. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I got, I got another question to ask you right here. Um, and I'm not gonna say no names, but you know, in the hood and shit, uh, and, and especially on the internet, there's like a growing. You know, a uh, body of people that are saying that rappers, they're attacking rappers. Rappers are the reason uh, that there's so much crime yeah. in the hoods, right? But I, but this was my question I say to those type of people. I say, well, before rap came out in the 70s, 80s, the crime was higher. Before rap hit. Oh, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? We're talking Frank Lucas them back in the day. Uh, you know what I mean? Crime was higher. So is, and when I asked Ice-T this, is... The rap a product of the hood or the hood a product of the rap? And you, Funny story for you. Tell me, tell me. My, I first got on the internet, right? My nigga DJ show. He was like, nah, nigga, you need to open your whatever account. I might, I might have had 
Facebook, Facebook, nigga, like, face, no, I might have had my space, nigga, like, Facebook, listen, a nigga got me on the web, and then I said, I posted something, you know what I'm saying, people, I said, oh, okay, this where the niggas at, I found y'all, I'm, I'm typing shit like this, and some nigga said something. And I'm like, fuck nigga, put some nigga to the <laughs> Fuck nigga, where you at this time? Show your fingers, turn the chicken, you know what I'm saying? What's the nigga? DJ Show called me, he laughed. He like, Jay, no, you can't do that. He said, stop. He said, don't do that, Jay. He said, go look on any nigga famous page and you're going to see a nigga on it. Right, right, right. right. But it took a real nigga. It, I, Put some nigga where you at, bitch. I was with that where shit, nigga. Fuck me. What you talking about? But my nigga had to call me. He left. He like, no, Jay, no, 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 you don't do that. No, yeah. Well, I just, I, I, just, I, just, I just be high, be high, be high. I'm going I'm to I'm say this, be high. My yeah. question is this, though, JT. And I'm going to ask you this same question, too, Wick. When you look over your career, JT, what was your favorite time or best time that you felt like, man, I love this shit. I was built for this shit. And this is my moment in time right now. I'm having it. If, if it was going to be a moment. Yeah, yeah. It got to just be when, when, when who that finally dropped in, on a national stage. Because I be thinking, like, I, I, I love shows. Every show different. Like, Showtime yeah. is something else. But And I, I like creating, too, when, when the shit come out the way I like it. But just, just say, all right, if you listen to the beginning, who that? I don't even play right now. And the nigga on the record, he said, about time. Because we were 10 years prior to that already. Yeah. We've been making moves. And, right. But now it's like uh, they they agreed to put my shit out now. Yeah. No. Yeah. But, yeah, so that that might be the moment. But it's, it's moments, man. I, like, I, I really enjoy this shit. Yeah. Yeah. I think behind that, my favorite time was right before I came out. Damn. That right before everything hit. Yeah. The the innocence of being in Scottdale in the trap, rapping with these niggas, selling dope, drinking, and proving everybody wrong. Because right. people think that you gonna stay I, I dropped that I dropped the album on Monday and Friday everybody knew who Ghetto Mafia was. Mm. It took us three, four yeah. years. I started out with six or seven people in the group. Mm. People fell off at different times because they didn't believe. Right. See that? You understand yeah. what I'm saying? It only got down to me and Nino by the time we, we actually Blue. came out. And to all the people that had their foot on my neck, to see them was my most rewarding time. That's for me. You like shit on a nigga. You want to on a nigga. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Back. I'm like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan like that. Michael Jordan like that. Yeah. Michael Jordan's confused. Y'all didn't, yeah. y'all didn't cut me in the goddamn eighth grade. Yeah. I ain't forgetting nothing. He called a coach yeah. name yeah. and everything. Right. See, I, I like to see it. Like, I just like to see people. And then, you know, I contact like a motherfucker. I see the niggas. He's like, but you and I know what's going on. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just like that. It right. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, man. I, I'm, yeah, I'm not. Uh, Niggas asked me why I wasn't, yeah, I like, I could wait, I could fall in some shit, I could sit there in it, I can get my ass up and wipe that shit off and keep moving. Right. Or, or you, can get, you can wipe your stuff off and keep moving and be in it at the same time. And, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a proof that I'm still moving, I'm right, right here with definitely, you. Definitely, you understand what I'm right. saying? But at the same time, I ain't giving no nigga no pass. If you right. if you shitted on me back in the day, nigga, I'm not turning on the time. I'm not Martin Luther King. Yeah, I, subscribe to, right. I subscribe to the Malcolm X series. Nigga, fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> right. You understand what I'm saying? But we gone. But we gone. Yeah. My nigga. That's all like, all right. That's right. We've been decided that I ain't going to dwell on it with them niggas because I'm giving them whatever I'm giving them. Let me put that back into what we're doing. <laughs> right. The mission was to do the best deal. You know what I'm saying? You see that light through the real few nigga. Ah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, we just chopping it up. And so, then, and then behind, I'm going to tell you something, too. And I'm going to say this to all these rappers out here, these young niggas. If you out here getting money and you don't came up off the, the shoulders and the backs of JT Money, Poison Clan, groups like that right there. I feel like, JT, this ain't from JT, this from me. I feel like it's your motherfucking duty 
to come back and get this man on something, bust a bag with him to show respect. Don't don't throw my name up on your shit just to fuck so to 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 clout chase. You know, so, oh I man, I fuck I fucked with you. You out here doing these ruckus. I told you about that bridging the gap a long time ago. Yeah, but don't, don't make it a, 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 a duty of theirs because now they feel, you know, they already feel like, no, oh, nigga can't tell me. Nigga don't tell me what to do. Well, I'm a, uh, well my, my dad still <laughs> told me. I, I didn't have to do it, right. but he still but told me. Realize, but it, it got, it's, it's more of a, you know, we, we can make everything make sense. It ain't about just that. You know, we offer, we, and I'm going to say we, right. we offer other game and experiences. Like, look, I got these young niggas around me, right? Boom. Right. And they be like, no, nah, OG, nigga, we were, and then boom, my numbers change. Boom, numbers get good. But then a certain game I got be like, oh, no, nah, nigga, they're going like that, like this, right? And, 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 I and, feel your, and your craft. Come right? on. And nah, your you excellence. That would be this something. man do all but, the time. But, 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 but be high, but be high. I hear what he's saying because, see, see he, he's speaking from a nigga from the streets. What he, what he, what he really saying there? Well, you know, a nigga don't owe me nothing, no did it. Yeah. Well, the NBA feels like that. The NFL feels like that. Man. They went back and got all those old school players. Yeah. And gave them pensions. Gave them insurance. Gave them because yeah, it was the Dr. J's and the ABA that made it where Michael Jordan can make, you know, 20 million. Yeah. And then Michael Jordan made it where LeBron can make 100 million. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, Zion sure don't have to play a goddamn uh, a quarter <laughs> and make 250 million. And so the NBA said, you know what? Because of those old school players, that's why you see, you know, all the, the uh, uh, Elijah Warrens and all these motherfuckers at games because the league takes care of of the mother forefathers. So I get what he's saying. So we we're, we're, organize this. Absolutely. Shit, right? Now, I'm going to say this right here. With both of y'all being OGs and legends. Uh -huh. Now, everybody that came after y'all respects y'all gangster and what y'all brought to the game. What artists that came after y'all that y'all respect gangster and what they brought to the game. Because, see, that's the whole thing, too. It's a two-way street in this mm. thing. You see what I'm saying? These young niggas ain't showing no love to us, OG. But do the OG show love to the young niggas? Hell niggas? yeah. We got to because we got to. <laughs> Shit, they the one got the got the. You heard what Bun B said. <laughs> Bun said the niggas in the 80s made money in a sandwich bag. Uh -huh. and us rappers in the 90s, we had a grocery bag. <laughs> the rappers now got a garbage bag, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the artists that you fuck with that you listen to music that the same way that you felt that they that you inspired them, they kind of inspired you to let you know that hip hop ain't dead? Well, nah. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> this thing is terrible, JT. This shit is awesome. This oh, shit is awesome. Shit awesome. <laughs> hey, this other shit awesome. Listen. All right, I ain't gonna say a rap nigga <laughs> did that for me, right? Cause each rap nigga, like again, I like that nigga song. I don't know, he's you know, a little suspect. This nigga here, yeah, I'm rooting for him, but he just wanna do right. You know? But yeah, you know, but it, it, it's certain niggas I just think, I just think good. Like let, let's go from the crib. Like I, I don't care. I tell everybody. I burger might smell them like my favorite niggas. Like them niggas never miss. They always, and you know, got a little J in them too. Yeah. Nah, but not even my brothers, though. My nephews, my little brothers. But these niggas is raw. And I just gotta remind them every time, like, nigga, you raw. But now you wanna look at niggas who made it, uh, as they people think made it, or who hot now, and you know what I'm saying? When do we start? We start from now, because once upon a time, uh, Jeezy and Ross and them had an error. Right. But that's what I'm saying. You, you can say you can say Jeezy and Ross. You ain't even got to go yeah. now. They just got to be after you. They right. ain't your peer. Yeah, right. They your son. Yeah. They ain't little your brothers, peer. Brothers, yeah, brothers. little brother. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people like that. I mean, I, I ain't calling these nigga names. Yeah. You can talk to but see, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem okay, right what now. What he said is give, yeah, give. Yeah. Listen. Niggas don't talk about me on the podcast. But they don't call my motherfucking ass. I ain't about heard no one nigga say no, we say who you like, and if you don't like him, say why you don't like right. him. I like, JT, I'm, I'm I'm I like JT money. How about that, motherfucker? <laughs> and I like ghetto money. <laughs> <laughs> and we only rock on VIP. VIP <laughs> <laughs> right now. For real. Yeah. How about what podcast niggas you like that came <laughs> after you? <laughs> See, you asking us these goddamn questions. What, what was your favorite podcast, nigga? Oh, man. See, I just thought it was a good question.
But when you flip it back, I realize it's a bullshit. It takes a man to say I was wrong. Hey, man. Hey, hey. I like them niggas. <laughs> I like for you, I can't hey, fix my mouth. I saw it. I couldn't go home with that. Daddy, you really said that shit, right? Like, <laughs> but I say that to say, though, that's the problem in our community. I agree. We yeah. won't kumbaya, mm-hmm. but we still say it for fuck everybody yeah, to right. say it damn time. Yeah. Because that's because we get we 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 get it how you know how we get it and we receive it and 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 and, and you know be how I'm gonna be honest with you. They are artists that came after me that, you know, that I fuck with. I'm not going to sit here and say that I just don't listen to rap at all. But I ain't finna sit up on here and call now a nigga name because, you know, I feel like the era that they, you know, we and they were in was the best era of music. That's how I feel. Yeah, I'm going to be biased, but I feel like the shit today sucks. Mm. It all sounds the same. I'm going to call my son... A record come on from a rapper. 20 minutes later, I said, God damn, that nigga still rapping? (laughs) (laughs) He said, Dad, that nigga been went off. (laughs) Five albums ago. (laughs) That's a nigga from New York. I said, nigga sound like he had the can of Georgia. (laughs) It's like one long mixtape. You can't tell if a nigga from Miami, Atlanta, New York, California, there is no diversity in music. You knew when you heard JT Money, uh, uh, boy, you knew, yeah. nigga, when they track would come on. He didn't have to say nothing yet. You said, that's a Poison Clan song right there. You, feel what I- you can tell that what an outcast track was when it dropped. Big ain't have to say nothing on that motherfucker. Yeah. Good and mild when it came on, you knew. You say, man, I'm waiting on, I can tell CeeLo finna come in on that bitch. Yeah. Now all that shit sound goddamn light, man. It's the, uh, what they call that shit? The, the one, one long mixtape. Yeah, one <laughs> yeah. long mixtape. Yeah. Mix <laughs> all right, here I go. It's, I don't think it's politically correct. I think this is me trying to uh, <laughs> get him away. I, I think maybe the young niggas hear something we don't hear. They, they got a new, because like, this is how I fuck with my young niggas. Like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Because I'm trying to see what the fuck you like about that. Like, right. why? What, what's the difference? I, you know, then I, I listen to what he got to tell me. He's like, nah, nigga, this that shit. Then I be like, yeah, that shit okay. But then be like, nah, this that shit. And I'm like, yeah, nah, that one the shit. So we don't agree on everything, but we pick. If we got 30 songs, we got 10 on we like. Couple more, we got an album. You understand what I'm saying? I like, understand exactly. With the young soldier, you know, like. All right, we, we, we was here when they was develop. We was here Atari and Coleco Vision, nigga Odyssey. Right. We was here when Nintendo started. We was here before PlayStation. We, you know, it wasn't no internet when we started. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, you, so you, you got a picture niggas growed up in this shit. Like little babies go go hit their favorite thing. Right. So they 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 gotta have something we ain't got. I'm going to the fact that these niggas grow it up in it. Like, all the information come right there. They're not even getting our game on the street. It's, it's kind of like you saying you don't want to hear it, but they not getting it because so much is in their face. They tell them okay. what's the shit. Right, 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 right. They've been right, fed. Right, you, right. They've been indoctrinated. You right. know what I'm saying? They not... They don't have free will. They don't, we we like something. We like something. We didn't like it. That shit didn't fly. But they could sell you anything. They just keep it in your face. Next thing you know, you start humming. Next thing you know, you want to run it. Next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? They could do that. I said that the great they street. They got the power. I said that the great right. street one time. He like, well, you know, Wick man. I said, man, I don't give you all these albums, man. I'm from here. I'm a legend in the city, man. You won't play my shit. He said, and, and we argue about this. He said, well, you know. Uh, you know, the, the people are demanding. They want to hear this. They want to hear the thug. They want to hear this. They want to hear that. I said, yeah, they want to hear it because you're pushing it on them. I said, nigga, if you play my records just as much as you play the motherfucking right. records right there, these kids will fuck with it. Right. You play JT Money right. records, these kids will motherfucking fuck with but it. But the guys came and bought all the radio stations. They tried to buy up the other time, but some of us niggas had money too back then. We buy the time. We had relationships. With PDs and programs. Remember, niggas used to own these radio stations. We used to all be in the little chitlin mongers to be served. What they did, they bought them all out, nigga, and they put the big power station right there. Now we can, now we can raise the advertisement, the cost of 
you know, it's always the fight. You know, you just gotta have money to fight back with them or get creative in your your process. Well, we, I, you know, when I was coming up, I used to sit in the back seat and my my dad and my mom they would make me listen to the Isley Brothers right. and. And 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 right. you know and and uh, whoever was I, you know, yeah. the Earth Wind and Fire. And Luther, stuff. We, we it wasn't. I music. listen. I listened to that shit at the barbecues, we but but rap that. was still coming in at the time. Yeah. So I liked the Fat Boys and Dana yeah. Dane and Houdini and all this shit. But yeah. my 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 family and 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 the culture itself made sure we knew who you know what, who uh, Patty Labelle was, Aretha yeah. Franklin was. Yeah. Are they doing the same? Are they reciprocating no. the same thing for JT Money and Wicked? No, they don't do that today. Exactly. Right, you're right about that. But it's going to be on the individual. Uncle you got to get out here and, and, and scream from a man with a gun, man. Hey, man, give me me. <laughs> you know, for real. No, and, you don't, and, and you and you just deserve better than that, bro. And, uh, you know, I, I get where you're coming I from. It. So, yeah, nigga, nigga, talk, nigga told me before, Jay, man, you too home. But I'm like, nigga, you don't want me cutting up. Just let me be a player. Yeah, I don't want you to play yourself. Don't, player, don't, go, don't go slap like, a nigga across yeah, the head and be yeah. like, <laughs> we can't talk. Nigga got some flowers over here. I done fucked it up because I done. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm saying? I be like, nigga, let me be a player. And, you know, I tell niggas sometimes, what else? What else I'm gonna do? You, you don't want me back on the streets, do you? Yeah, you know <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah. Like, yeah. Just do right. Let's just play the game. Well, these still start. What, 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 you know, we have a big fan base, JT. Yes. Uh, you know, and people still love us. So yes. us talking or anything I do, I do it three steps ahead. So when I'm saying this shit right here, you know, if it get JT money, goddamn three more shows a year. Then, goddamn, it was worth saying it. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you, I could stay on this motherfucker. We could sit on here and talk for an hour and talk uh, about these new niggas that got garbage bags full of money. Or we could talk about us and and, and what we want some goddamn money. And, I, and, and, and I'd rather talk about us. <laughs> right, so look, though. No. Okay, so this is how we gonna do it. Shit. That way, we ain't, ain't gotta fight our little brother. They still your little brother. Your little nephew yeah, ain't acting right. right. <laughs> look, your little nephew ain't acting right. It, you wanna bust him in the head. So but that's your brother's son. They, they, so you need to holler at your brother. Like, so you get with nephew. Then the, the OGs do with, us like that right, in the hood, though. Right, they just slap on the head. Then you get with nephew, like, look, uh, yeah. I, those okay. niggas ain't hear that shit. You gotta slap one of these little young niggas, man. <laughs> but but hey, it's gonna be one out the group that's yeah, yeah. gonna get it. You gotta find the right one. You're right. The most popular one always ain't him. Right. You, know, you got... subscribe to the Martin Luther King theory. It's almost like Malcolm X. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not. Listen. <laughs> Nigga, we finna make the, the new New Testament. No, let me stop. I ain't gonna go that far. <laughs> the new New Testament, nigga. We finna read the new book. Nigga. That nigga JT right. came out right here. was gonna throw that dick and got down there. You over there, motherfucker. Yeah. Talking about. Oh, uh, no. You, you, you know, we gotta, we, we gotta love the young, the, the new generation. <laughs> no, that's, and we, the, that's the only way. But listen, man. No, you right. Rod spoil a child. You right. That's right. You still right. gotta whoop some ass. No. <laughs> you still gotta whoop some ass. I'm not. I'm, you know, I, I'm hoping they let those with ears here. I'm hoping <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping the, young, the right young nigga we need don't hear me. Right, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, while the other niggas being stupid, the one gonna be like, nah, I know what to do. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, Peace man. Man. I promote that. You know what I'm saying? You didn't stop killing me. Right. Hey, this, this girl told me, I said, man, I was talking to the chick, uh, B. I said, man, uh, JT Money coming up here. She hit my phone a minute ago. She said, ask him about his daddy. His daddy was a real player. I yeah. said, what? When I was up here, that nigga was there. Him old boy passed away, but yeah. I, I started letting him hit the road with me. You know, every time. So y'all used to be together. Yeah, he said he was the first. He uh, was first black lifeguard. Lifeguard in him. Yeah, he say all that. This nigga. Yeah. 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 I used to call a nigga 50 old thug. I'm like, nigga, chill out. Nigga, yeah, my old boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, this my old boy. I'm like, nigga, chill out, man. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Nigga, he out there. Nigga. Son in the boy for son. Prison for a couple of years. Son boy, what's the nigga? I'm like, I got this, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but, yeah. but 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 you know, talk talk Side about. The, I mean, was you know, um, I didn't I didn't grow up with a with a with a father. Now I, I you met know that nigga when I was it? 26. Oh had three shit! Kids in the house. <laughs> that about I met shit. that nigga hey. when I was 26. No, JT three kids JT in the money, house. goddamn, his daddy. <laughs> like, they were together. They were totally yeah, level. Right. The real story, nigga. Another nigga, Gator, right? Man, made me a motherfucking man. Listen, I, oh. I start. I actually told a nigga, all right, nigga, nice meeting you, but you can't keep calling me. You upsetting my old boy. You know what I'm saying? I done did that, but then. 
a year or two later, came around there and I just decided to answer the phone and then like, down there prayed on and like, well shit, maybe pull that out too. Maybe this nigga show you something, give you something. You know what I'm saying? I was just wasn't received, but you know, I was high. Anyway, I got to know the nigga before he passed, fought with him and see certain things. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you never heard me make no deal pop a record. He's like, I'm mad at those boys because it wasn't. I don't do that shit. Listen, yeah. I'm not blaming a mother. Listen, because I know what I he do. Said I deal pop <laughs> <laughs> But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, and, you know and, and the nigga, you know, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I just called a nigga 50 year old. But all right, picture this. Now I told a nigga, all right, now me, you had, you know. Cause this is this was my home life. This my family life. Yeah. All right, nigga. Yeah. Again, I'm 26. I got three kids, cars, and I, yeah. I'm yeah. Straight. Yeah. Like, what, what's up? Like. Yeah. My partner uh, just happened. He was like, cause he saw y'all on the road back then. So he, yeah. you know, looking from a distance, he was like, man, JT and hip hop, uh, hip, hip hop was tight, man. I, I wish I was tight. My pop said, well, yeah. I'm gonna ask him about it. I well, asked that, him. That was, that was my dog when I when I let him in. When I, you know, what I'm yeah. Cause that's the part all he wanted to do was know his boy. Gotcha. You know, and I didn't withhold that gotcha. from a nigga because I was feeling some kind. I was like, "What's up, man?" And then we had to go through this. Yeah, and then we. Had to do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though. Just being yeah. men, cause right. nigga, I'm a motherfucking man. What you finna tell me? Yeah. How we? Yeah, like. You know, nigga, I don't want nothing. I just want to, yeah, nigga, yeah. Ain't nothing for going, nigga. We can work, you know? Yeah. Got and it was love. But look, one day we ride, nigga say, yeah, boy, because your stepdaddy, he was almost going to get it, because, boy, I don't play with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I say, hold up, nigga. No, look, the real no, no, shit. I'm hold up, nigga. Ain't nobody talking about gay. Right, right, right. Right. You know, brother, right. you can't talk about you can't play with this. Right. Yeah, yeah this was mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even play that. Blood card on me. Yeah. Related family. Related related family. You know, you've seen the memes. Y'all niggas be on the shit. No. Nah. Blood make you related. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Loyalty to make you family. family. Yeah, Shaq, like Shaq said Shaq said the same yeah, thing. Some shit like that. But yeah. answer me this though, JT. What advice do you got for other men that want to re enter their kids' lives keep but trying. they don't know how to do it? Just Cause keep that's a trying. difficult thing to do. It, it ain't no blueprint. It ain't no Nigga, just do it. Be real. Don't come in there acting, flogging, faking, because young nigga see through it. Yeah. Nigga already, if he ain't got no respect for you, because you know you got different states. Some niggas, some niggas emotional, some niggas be lonely, some niggas <laughs> blaming it. They want Mr. Some niggas like, fuck that fuck, nigga, I got this. And so, it, you know, you know your approach, handle it accordingly. But you got to be real. Like, all right, the nigga had to be real with me, because I'm sitting up there like, again, nigga, I'm 26, I got three kids, I got an house of cars, and, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. You know, but, you know, nigga, like, yeah, then we talk. You know, it ain't like you can come in and act like you putting down or like I'm your daddy now. <laughs> right. You know, you, you got to establish some kind of relationship. You know, relate. You got to relate. Relationship. Some shit like that, man. I feel that. I'll be here all week, That's man. I'll book shit. your services at my thing, and I'll get you back in the house <laughs> in no time. We got to pass the plate around now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, you got anything else with? Uh, man, I, I'm, uh, you know, like Thank I said, I'm going to say it one more time. Thank you, man. I'm going to say it one more time. Uh, I grew up on, these be the interviews. I I, these, are, these are the interviews that I like. You know, niggas kind of, that was right there with me. Yeah. The niggas after me. Yeah. But I grew up on these niggas. And like I say, anybody go to the Real Ghetto Mafia, scroll down. And you didn't know it. I didn't tag you. No, I didn't get no I fanfare about it. But I post you, I and so these it. niggas Repost don't. It. So these niggas don't forget. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You. And uh, and so I appreciate the game you gave to us. You know my generation. You know I don't pass that same game down. My son. You know my son have been to prison twice. He's 23, but he know who JT Money is. You understand yeah. that? Yeah. You know, and uh, and I feel like that's my duty. And it's gonna be his duty to pass it down. So I mean, I appreciate man the games you gave us. That's from Wick. Thank you, bro. What made you say I hate hoes and hoes hate me? <laughs> they did. <laughs> Look, what about they they did. Listen, <laughs> uh, true story. They did. Listen, and it's from a young nigga. Yeah, you know. It, all right. 
I got five hoes, right? Yeah. And then this one minute I'm calling, ain't nobody picking up. Man, I hate these motherfuckers. Man, I hate these hoes. And then the whole party looking at me, hey, that nigga, he don't come through when I want him. You know? So now we tit for tat. <laughs> but you know, I'm about to say, she 18, I ain't even like, what's the bitch? Like, oh. No, she ran up, you know, because that's what they were doing. That's why the records went that way. It was that life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He received it, understand it. You know, like, they was out there for everybody. <laughs> you had to understand that then, though. No, nah, I can definitely dig it. I just had to ask that because that was one of my favorite lines. You see what All I'm right. saying? Funny record, though. Talk when to that me. record was big back in 92, the hoes made it their song, and it was, that was their fight song. I hit ho, ho, and they point at the hoes on the other side, and they think, you know, the hoes scrapping. Damn. I'm like, look at this shit, boy. And the hoes was so raw with the bitch eyes and lyrics, they would flip it around and talk about they niggas. Like, mm. acting like ho, yeah, ho. Yeah. This ain't shit. <laughs> but I'm like, why these hoes? Like, hoes love ho story. I mean, not ho story. Ho problems ain't no problem. They love that record. They be mm. talking about they niggas and shit. That's, That's crazy. crazy, man. Lastly, JT, how can these folks contact you, man, if they need to holler at you, boss? Man, just hit me on Instagram, and then I'll spread the love. Instagram, JT, you only answer your Instagram. I, call, I hit your Instagram, your DM. Oh, no, don't, oh, don't call it. But no, 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 I didn't call it. If a nigga call me. I did. I've been trying to get you on here a year ago. Wow, for real? Yeah. yeah. Man, you ain't say this me. <laughs> Nigga, this is me. <laughs> nigga, you ain't put ghetto mafia. Uh, hey, you probably put galaxy on that motherfucker. Yeah, uh, hey, right. JT, it's galaxy uh, trying to get you on the show. Nigga, if you put ghetto, if another nigga, hey, look, if another nigga put ghetto mafia on it, I'm gonna see about it. I'm Come on, what you talking about? Exactly. Like, the who, next who, time, who you, the next time you diss me like that, I'm gonna release the your, your tap dance and goddamn videos. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I got the videos while you up here. I bet if I get JT, I bet I get JT, you goddamn tap dance and video. Yo, I ain't never damn top dance <laughs> in my motherfucking life. I'm going to say this for the next time. You niggas, <laughs> like, you niggas about Because I got a story. Like, I'm telling you, listen, man. Now, come on with it. We got time. Time, man. I know you should bring me back, man. <laughs> Just remember tap dancing. So, yeah. look, nigga, I was a throw the D-boy, man. I'm a original dick slinger, nigga. I was throw the, but I ain't going to talk that shit right now. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. JT, appreciate you coming yes, through this. Already. Man, you know, I appreciate you. Man, we here for it. Hey, good to see you, my brother. Already. Yeah, already. Yeah. Shout it. OG Gallison, Gangsta, Bliggity Black, bl and JT, brother. <laughs> <right here. laughs> hey, you're getting better, though, B. I'm trying. You're close. You're trying. That's all I can do.